Hello everyone. My name is Garth Sutherland and I am the CEO of The Insights Company. Thank you very much for joining The Insights webinar today, where we will be introducing automated time reinfusion using The Insights system. So let's kick off. It's my pleasure now to hand over to Emma Ludlow, our stomal therapist. Thanks, Garth. Hi, everyone. I'm Emma Ludlow with the Insights Company. Um, I'll be taking you over a brief overview of the Insights system and its benefits for your patients. So a therapy to help stabilize high output enteroatmospheric fistula patients and enterostomy patients is chimery infusion. Historically, uh, this was a nurse allocated task where a nurse would take out the chyme from a patient's stomach bag, sieve it, as you can see here in this picture, and then manually reinfuse it via a gastrostomy tube or a foldy tube uh, down the distal limb of the intestine and into the gut. It was generally regarded as a last resort for a patient that was on the precipice of the intestinal failure. And you can see it's a rather labor intensive and unsavory procedure. However, the clinical benefits of chyme reinfusion warranted further research and development of a medical device. The clinical benefits of chyme reinfusion and using an automated device like the inside system allow for oral refeeding to, sorry, oral feeding to start. So we recommend that patients who start chyme refeeding also return to eating at the same time. This improves their nutritional outcomes and also um, rehabilitates an atrophied gut. Along with this, there's improved renal and liver function for patients, which in the short term should help them wean off parental nutrition. The economic benefits of weaning off parental nutrition total around six to $8,000 a month. And this also removes the risk of a percutaneous catheter infection that's associated with the administration of parental nutrition. This also removed, uh, this then follows with a reduction of hospital, hospital admissions and length of stays for patients. A general length of stay for a patient with a high output EAF or enterostomy is between four and eight months. So, however, with primary infusion and the use of the inside system, this is reduced to around one month. With intestinal failure patients, the risk of readmission for dehydration and electrolyte imbalances is high. So by using primary infusion and now eating along with the inside system, this risk is greatly reduced. So here we have the inside system. It's made up of three components. We've got the insides driver, and this has a magnet in it, which couples with the insides pump. The pump also obviously has a um, an magnet and this sits immersed in the chyme in a patient's stomach bag. This is attached to the insides tube uh, which is intubated by a stomach therapist or a healthcare professional trained in doing this. And this is what sits um, inside the patient's stoma or fistula. So this screen here shows you um, a healthcare professional intubating the tube. And you can see in the second image that the uh, insides tube is being intubated into the distal aspect of the fistula or enterostomy. Once you're happy that it's in place, the guide wire is removed. And then in the fourth picture, you can see that the um, insides pump is slid onto the end of the tube. And you can see that it's a low profile um, with the retention sleeve, which keeps it nicely sitting inside the stoma bag. Um, and the ostomy appliance is applied as per normal. You just need to thread it over and off the tube and pump. We'll head into a demonstration, which William's gonna do for us here. Thank you, William. So he's holding the insides driver here at the moment. You can see the mode button on the left-hand side, and this is what controls the on and off and also the cycling through the speeds. So if you hit the mode button, level one is for your water thin chyme. And then as you cycle through, that deals with thicker and thicker viscosities and with the fifth speed um, with a semi-thick chyme viscosity. Thank you, William. The pump magnetically couples in that space where his fingers is. And there it is there, that's magnetically coupled to the pump. So he's just demonstrating or simulating, I should say, a patient eating food. And it's magically coming out into the stoma bag there. So the patient needs to wait until the pump is completely immersed in the chyme, which is generally around about a third full. And then you bring forward the insides driver, couple it when it's off, 
and then you hit the mode button and you use the whatever speed that works to get the climb up the tube. There we go. Hopefully you caught that climb moving up the tube. The patient can watch it moving up the tube and also the level in the back dropping, as you can see there. And if you can all see at the bottom of the screen, it's coming out into the box at the back. <laughs> Thank you, William. So to summarize with the inside system, um, a bolus feed for a patient is between two to 300 ml or whatever their ostomy bag can hold and it's not too heavy for them. You magnetically couple the driver while it's turned off to the pump and then you turn it on. And to stop brief feeding once the bag is empty, you just pull the driver away and then turn it off. Um, it's only, we only have bolus feeding at the moment and anyone, um, so people need to wake up in the middle of the night to bolus feed at the moment. We currently don't have a continuous setting. The key features of the inside system is that we have multiple settings. There's no flow rate on the inside's driver. It just deals with whatever viscosity of the chyme is in the bag. The inside's tube is compatible with any ostomy appliance. When you look at the tube, um, the length is customizable, so it's able to be cut to whatever length is there. The inside's driver has two weeks of battery and we provide a power pack to recharge and a recharge takes about four hours. The driver is portable. It does not need to be attached to the stoma bag. It weighs around 500 grams. Um, so it's, it would be too heavy to um, carry around like that anyway. You can leave it on the bedside and just use when applicable. And as you can see, it's a closed system. Uh, so there's no need to remove the stoma bag and no messy hands. So full, uh, full training and um, sorry, this product is commercially available and um, upon ordering the system, full training and um, training portal support is provided for the stoma therapist and other healthcare professionals involved in the patient's therapy. On the left hand side, you'll see uh, the starter kit and what's in the starter kit. You get an insides driver with the power pack, 10 insides pumps and the insides tube. So the patient changes the insides pump every three days in line with their ostomy appliance. And then the tube is there for the health care professional to take care of. Subsequent refills on the right hand side are there um, to be ordered for the length of therapy um, until the patient is reversed. And in the refill pack, you get one tube and another 10 um, insides pumps for the patient to use. We have um, two exclusive distributors. One here in New Zealand is OBEX and our Australian exclusive distributor is OptiMed Technologies. And now uh, the inside system can be ordered through them. We'll head on to any questions that anyone has. Emma, I'll oh. ask a question. <clears throat> um, roughly how long does it take to set up a patient? So explaining the system to the patient and gaining the consent uh, and set up usually takes between 45 minutes and an hour. Right. And how long does it take to insert the tube? It takes approximately five to 10 minutes to insert the tube. Thank you. Emma, how often do you change the pump roughly again? The patients take care of that themselves and they change it every two to three days, which should be in line with their stoma bag changes. Oh, okay. And the, and um, the tube stays in situ for the um, stoma therapist or the healthcare professional to change each month. Okay, once a month, is that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, um, Emma, I have one question here. Um, you said that the device is used for high output stoma patients. Can we use it for chemo patients? Yes, uh, the inside system is recommended for patients that are on chemo because the side effect is, is diarrhea. So reducing the, their risk of dehydration and electrolyte imbalances is paramount. So it can be used to, uh, through chemo. Emma, what about if <clears throat> I had a patient that had a um, whose gut had been defunctioned for some time and they were heading towards closure surgery? 
Um, so we do have some guidelines around that. For someone that's been defunction for over six months, um, we recommend starting slowly and slowly increasing the patient's tolerance to chyme reinfusion. Because they have an atrophied distal gut, um, you need to slowly prop open those walls and rehabilitate that distal gut. So starting with one or two reinfusions for them per day, anyone that's been defunctioned for less than six months, you could start a little bit faster, um, but you need to take it slowly for that first week because when you're rehabilitating a distal gut, the stretch of the luminal walls creates a um, diffuse abdominal discomfort and bloating, um, which is quite uncomfortable for patients. So um, starting slowly uh, keeps patient compliance up. So, so what sort of size bolus would you recommend for? Around, around anyone that's defunctioned for less than six months, around 100 mil twice a day. Um, Emma, we've got one more question. Um, what has the feedback on the device been so far? Overall, it's been really uh, great. Um, we've had patients on from anywhere from a month to around eight months. Um, and they enjoy being at home, rehabilitating at home. And uh, yeah, generally it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, what are the patient, what is the patient selection criteria, Emma? So we have a flow chart to help you identify patients that are suitable, but anyone that has a um, two lumens, whether, so a proximal and a distal, whether it be through the atmospheric fistula or enterostomy, um, they don't, um, and they have good sort of understanding of the benefits of chyme reinfusion. Um, good dentition we've found is necessary and um, sort of energy to, to actually use the inside system helps. Yeah. Yeah. You can find this flow chart on the Insides Company website as well. Yeah. Hey, Emma, why would you um, use an automated chyme reinfusion system versus just doing it manually? Um, so from a patient's perspective, they're able to take care of their therapy themselves um, and they can control when they want to refeed. From a nursing perspective, uh, it does actually reduce your time um, because the initial education is intensive and it, as long as the patient understands what they're doing and supported, then, um, then the nurse's involvement really just backs off a little bit. Whereas if you were to do it manually, um, and a person has an output of over three liters, you're there seven time all day, every day and pumping it back through. So um, putting, putting the power back in the patient is best. Well, I think with the, unless there's any further questions, um, we thank everyone for joining today. Thank you, Emma and, and William and John and Laura for organizing this. Um, nice to see you, Michael and Daria and the, the Optimed team there. And, and also nice to see um, and Fred and Justin and Kyla and Lucy. Thank you all for joining. No, yeah, thank you. Thanks for organizing it. Yeah, and we'll be running these every month. So um, we'll just continue to run them and uh, people are welcome to join whenever they like. All right, everyone. Well, have a, enjoy the rest of your day and thanks again. And we'll look forward to talking soon. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye now.